I think we go the route of basically making our opponent look like a psychopath. If they want to win, they're going to have to commit, you know, a psychological crime. It's ripperoni, dude. It's hauling ass right now. The ludicrous mode is not, doesn't do good things, but it's fast. Over. All right, Peter, tell me what you're doing in two words or less. <laughs> uh, mental breakdown. We were thinking that we can use we can use the wheel to grind our meat against our opponent. <laughs> like I said that. We should uh, write, we, weapon, right? <laughs> do people talk before they fight? All right, we got we have an hour twenty. We have an hour twenty. We're doing great, I think. Do we want to paint it? Oh, look at that. What? Adding legend. Look at that. Oh, but it should be in like. <laughs> It's pretty a legit piece. Is this carbon fiber? Carbon fiber nylon, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Something poetic about screwing in a bolt and a ketchup bottle at the same time <laughs> on the same thing. Get out of my way! Rush, yes. check it out. This is the, the hot dog rotisserie cooker. So there's a can of Sterno that's gonna go in here. We're gonna slide a bunch of hot dogs on here. And then you put 12 volts into it and then 90 RPM. 90 RPM. Everything's welded together, so don't blow it up. Oh, fuck you welded it. Yes! Yes! God bless it, yes! Dude, don't worry, it only goes one way. That was scary. Gorgeous. That mustard ain't going nowhere. Yeah, That mustard ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yes. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a risk here. <laughs> arming, arming. <laughs> oh! Oh come on! Don't tease me, Michael. Give it to me. Okay, Michael, feed me. <laughs> oh, yeah! Can you tell us a little bit about Soggy Mustang? Oh, we changed its name to Raw Dog. It might not be for long. I think you'll be surprised. <laughs> sorry, it's not being hot. Sorry, it's yeah. the hot dog. <laughs> That's over four pounds of beef. There's on, on that road. raw. Now, Brown did that beef, play beef, into the dogs. weight class? Because we're, we have very strict weight rules here. We added a couple hot dogs to the robot. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> I'm at chef. <laughs> chef, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Wow, good luck, uh, everybody. Uh, we're all gonna need it. This is uh, unprecedented here at NHRL. Soggy Mustang, are you ready? Soggy Mustang, are you ready? No! Yes. We're on our history, not working. Yes. 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 Five, four, and three, here we go. two, one. <laughs> fight, robots, fight. Here we go, folks. All right, Alvin oh. has left its corner. I can hear it revving up. Oh my goodness. There's some drive on Soggy Mustang. I'm, I'm impressed. This is one incredible all beef dog. <laughs> Using the mustard to your advantage. Great, good. Okay, we are getting- Whoa! 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 To tell, it looks like Soggy Mustang high centered on Alvin here. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, we call this the raw dog grind. It looks like the majority of Alvin the Chipmunks is not mobile. Believe it or not, that is the match. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry after that fight. You want a hot dog? I want a hot those dog. Those dogs are cooking. I'm gonna put one of those dogs in my mouth. So good. So hot. Uh -huh. So dog. I think we do, I, I think we go the route since we don't have that much time of psychological of basically making our opponent look like a psychopath. Mm -hmm. No, I like that. What's the worst thing you could hit with a spinner? An orphanage? 
like what sort of the what, what would make somebody look bad? Some sort of memorial for like a like a you know like a really tragic incident. We make like a nice respectful diorama, and then it's <laughs> yeah. like it's our art. We made it you know to share with the world, and if they want to lose, that's fine. But if they want to win, they're going to have to commit you know a psychological crime, and it's not our fault. <laughs> You're trying to do something nice. Yeah, we no, we're doing something nice. We are. We're, we're, well, we're trying. If we do the orphanage, we do a big. Like mm -hmm. we, we make it so you can't even see the chassis, mm -hmm. and it's like a big like frame around it, and it's just an orphanage, and we like fill it full of mm -hmm. like dolls. Like packed with yeah. dolls. The only problem I see with all this is we need to get like a hundred little dolls in, mm -hmm. in two hours. Hey, I got a question for you though. Can you pick up some some kids for us on the way, like dolls? Jesus, the back of the specifies curse. Yeah, oh, some dolls? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's like 29 and 3 quarters. And then make the building like uh, 18 deep, maybe, or 17, 18. All right, so we're making some windows for the, uh, the orphanage. So look at this. Here's our building right here. So we've got two stories. We've got a window right here. We're going to select the window, and we're going to make a bunch of them. So we're gonna make a lot of windows for the kids, you know, so it's a really nice orphanage. And then, do we wanna just, do we make the pitch of the roof just to, to yes. the top? Yes, um, that looks right. Yeah, it looks fine, I guess. Great, it's fabulous. What's the active weapon, though? Uh, psychology. Spit out, though? I mean, there is an active weapon rule, so you do have to have your argument ready about yeah. why psychological Swing is set. Yeah. active. That's looking good. That's looking good and fragile. Come on, it's gonna dry, it's gonna harden. All right, you wanna paint it? Yeah, let's go paint it. Okay. I like the eave, that's nice. Fancy. Look at it, here's our, our, uh, our children's hospital for kids that are recovering. Quick, shake it, shake it as I paint. No, you gotta shake it up and down as I paint. The bricks. I feel like a 3D printer right now. Or actually, a 2D printer. <laughs> <laughs> the cold helps me spray paint so much faster because I'm shivering. Let's get out of here. Has anybody heard from Will? This isn't good. We really, we have like 45 minutes. We have 35 minutes. <laughs> so they said that, uh, you know, we have to have a weapon, but we don't really have a weapon, so we're gonna go with psychological warfare. Like, they, they can't destroy a children's hospital, right? Yeah. Pretty good. Child guillotine. Get in the hole. What the? <laughs> what is this? Get in there. Hey, what? Well, that one's head. <laughs> See what the? Are well, we then. fighting you? Heard a, a children's hospital. Oh, they definitely would. No. Yeah. What's so funny about it? Are you ready? <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. <laughs> they wouldn't hurt. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do it. <laughs> I, <laughs> don't you dare! Don't you dare hit that robot! Uh, oh, whoa! Through the front door. I think Soggy Mustang and or Doctors with Borders has eaten its opponent. Oh, it, well, maybe it's just visitation hours for you. <laughs> no! No! What no! are you doing? Dude! Nice. Those kids... <laughs> Those poor kids. 
Twitter Michael, covers. Michael, Michael, those poor kids. Oh. What are they those doing? Poor kids. They were gonna grow up and do adults. It's okay, Peter. It's okay. The robot we built in two hours today is an airbag strapped to a, a wedge. You know, like a car airbag? When you get a crash and it like comes out to stop your face, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna cause the crash with the airbag. Where'd you guys get the idea? I think someone just said airbags and we're like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and then somebody here <laughs> had airbags. I was gonna say, where'd you get an airbag? <laughs> so another competitor. <laughs> so they're gonna drive up on top of us and then it's gonna go there. And then we've got single redundancy. Basically there's a relay attached to the, the drive system. So we power the drive system up and that is allowing us to disconnect the airbag. And then we plug the airbag system in and that also allows us to disconnect the airbag. So we can disconnect the airbag twice. That way we don't accidentally connect it once. You have to purposely connect it twice to detonate, which then sends this big like fabric mesh bag out. It expands, you know, up to like a couple feet in diameter. It smells really bad. And it's gonna force the top of the robot up, which is gonna force the robot that's sitting on top of it up through the top of the arena and then through the second floor of the building and then up through the roof. This thing's gonna fuck shit up. To keep them safe, they attach the wires together. That way you can't accidentally set them off. So, robot's on? Yeah. All right, arm the airbag. Airbag is armed. The light comes on right there. So that means this is working. So we want to make sure. Explode the this airbag. Is, this is off, and when we're finally ready, we arm the airbag by plugging it into this. I believe you. I'm just standing back. I'm not plugging it. Oh, OK, OK. Why not? Are you scared? Yes. <laughs> so this wire shorts out the positive yeah. and the negative. So there's there's one, two, three safeties. So, so you see it's going between the red and the black. So even if you did accidentally energize it, it would just go through the wire instead of through. Yeah. yeah. We hope that enough, there would be enough of a short in this uh -huh. wire that it wouldn't provide enough power to detonate the airbag. But so this, then the last step was to cut this. Yeah. I was like, that makes I sense. That's it. But I know that even though there's a resistor there, there still is current flowing through there. But not enough. But not enough. Is it, it like a certain? Of, it's pretty. Well, cause the voltage drop, mm. right? Yeah, I don't I mean I don't think any would really flow through no. there. But it might. The biggest problem with this robot is that we only get one shot, one opportunity. Knees heavy. Mom's, Mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> Never forget. There's robots on the ceiling already. It's ours. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Do, you gotta lose your robot to, to the ceiling. It. Spaghetti. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> Knees are ready. So then this. Let's try to shove in that corner. This gets then shoved up there. So that's that is our uh, safety. Uh, that's our arm light. So when that light's on, it's armed. All right, this is the one that looks most like a stupid wedge. Yes. <laughs> Quite a walk. Let's see, uh, it's something sauce. Oh, it's the open sauce. The open sauce logo. Okay, his robot. Is the robot named Sus? Is it named Sus now? They, they are walking to the cage, about to load in and get ready. How did we make it this far? I don't know. That looks pretty dangerous. Oh man, it's, it's got a pizza cutter on it. Good thing this isn't a pizza. Thank God. <laughs> if this was a pizza, we'd be screwed. All right, these transmitters absolutely cannot be touched. Yep, taped up and off. Kevin, guard these with your life. Airbag taped. Down we go. Oh, we'll cutting on wire. Best, are you ready? Yeah, I think. No, yeah, we're ready. The match in cage four will begin in five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. So you saw. Oh, 
secret weapon! Our secret weapon didn't do anything! Quick, scoop that up, scoop that up, and, and you gotta shove it. Shove it in, his, in the spinner. You gotta, you gotta clog him.